Now, I've got my beef ribs. Have a look at this. You certainly have. I went down to my butcher shop and said, give me the finest ribs you've got. And what he's got here are these beautiful, big, tasty ribs. I'm just going to pop them all into here. And I'll just put this just underneath here, out of the way. Now, this is beautiful Australian, in fact, Tasmanian grass-fed beef. But Life is tough for a vegetarian next to Adrian. These will take a while to cook, so I'll better get cracking. So I've got some coriander, so if you can grab this coriander and just cut, cut it up to the roots and just throw it straight on top. Just rough? What I'm going to do is get some garlic and I'm just going to smash this garlic here like this and give it a quick peel. And the beauty of cooking on a barbecue and putting a lid on is you get that oven slow cooking sort of method, but you also get that beautiful flavour that you get from a barbecue. What I'm going to do now is add some vinegar. Have a smell of that nice malt vinegar mm. straight on the top there. It gives it some acidity and a bit of It'll sharpness. It'll break it down a bit, won't it? Like, break uh, it down. Sort It'll of, sort of. Tenderise it? Yeah. If I was marinating for a while, I've got some dried oregano. I'm just going to put that on there like that. I've got some smoked paprika. Oh, wow. beautiful. Have a smell of that. Beautiful mm. smoked paprika. You can get it in most supermarkets now. I've got some cumin in there. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. And uh, I've got some white pepper. And these are all the things that are normally in your pantry, you know. Pop that in there as well. Brown sugar. Now, Janelle, can you chop these chilies up for me? Wow. Just, just rough chop them like that. These are the long reds. They're not quite as hot, but you'll get, you know, you'll get lots of flavour out of them. And I've got some brown sugar straight on top there like that. And of course, maple syrup with some extra sweetness because maple syrup is just a delicious way of sweetening up anything you're cooking. And what could be better than sweet, sticky maple syrup on top of it? Now, what I'm going to do is also, you've got that chilli there. I'm going to put some Tabasco on there as well because I like the, the tartness of Tabasco and, you know, just to make sure it's... Mmm. I love Tabasco. It's a little bit hot. Sometimes but, um, you remind me of Fred Flintstone. Now, I'll put, put some water on here. It's about a <laughs> cup and a half of water. Now, what we do, Janella, is just sort of mix it around to make sure all the flavour's in there. But what I'm doing is just mix it all in, rub it in. Yeah. And, of course, I'll just put a little bit more salt on there and a little bit of pepper over here. Now, what I'll do is probably turn this a couple of times while it's cooking. I know this is going to take about an hour and a half to two and a half hours. On the barbecue? On the barbecue. Maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit less, but it's the sort of thing you can marinate it overnight. You could even cook it, you know, cook it the, the day before oh. in, in your oven if you wanted to, in your oven. Yeah. And then when your friends get there, you can turn it over, you know, take the foil off it and it'll crisp up nicely. So it's one of these things Oh. You can actually, you know, do in advance, and Which all you need to do. It's always a good thing because then you can, you know, spend your time socialising and, you know, being the host and hostess rather than in the kitchen. There we go. And the foil will help to keep the moisture in, stop it from browning on the outside because we don't want to caramelise it too early. It's two hours, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You want to keep it sort of nice and moist on the inside to keep it nice and juicy. There we go. Make that foil nice and tight. Pop it straight in there. All my heat. To push to one side so that heat will circulate around and cook it nice and low and slow, just the way you like it, Janella. Pop the <laughs> lid on, about an hour and a half to two and a half hours. I'll close this off so it cooks low and slow and we'll check it and just keep turning it around. But when it's finished, I'm going to take the foil off it and let a little bit of heat crisp up the outside of it. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> My whips have been roasting in this oven, in the Weber, <laughs> for a while now. I have to say that. It's not a waskily wabbit. No, it's not waskily wabbit, it's beef ribs. The sun's making us a bit loopy. Oh, look at this. These have been cooking. I'll put some new foil on it, look but these have been... they shrunk. They do. These muscles, there's a bit of tendon and stuff in there, so they do shrink a little bit. So it makes it more like a more like a delicious feast, doesn't it? It's not like a big hunk of meat like it was before. But what I'll do is I'll take... Really? No, it's, it's like a, just a tiny little well, bit of... it's a delicious feast for you, sure, and it is a hunk of meat. It's both those things. It's a snack. Just a little snack. Just the way I like it. It just winds me up. Pop that on there and I'll just pop another one. But see how, you know, see how they have shrunk and you've got this beautiful big bone? Talk about presentation, you know. If you're going to serve some yeah. ribs, it looks great like this and you can pick it up. It's like a handle on each side. Look, it's a little hors d'oeuvre. It's just a oh. little, you know, finger food. It's oh. Adrian finger food. A snack. <laughs> just what we want. Now, can you cut that lime in half? What I'm going to do is get some of these spring onions here. Just cut them on an angle so I've it got some... It smells really good. It, it does, doesn't it? Nice and it sort of spicy. It smells better than it looks. Nice and sort of spicy. What I'll do is I'll pop a few of these spring onions on top for some greenery that matches the plate. Give me a squeeze, Janelle. Oh, you want the squeeze? A nice big squeeze of lime on there. Just give it a bit of a zing because there, there is a bit of fat in there. And, you know, if you mix a little bit of lime juice or citrus juice on it, it sort of gives it that... Well, that, you know, that the sourness of... helps you to process the fat through your liver, it actually. Just, and makes it really tasty. That's what I like. There we go. Just a squeeze like lime. that. Just a nice... I like the zing. I like the, the, the flavour of it. Yum. I just want everyone at home just to see how you eat correctly. 
You picked them up. We want the blue shirt to stay nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Tuck it in. Okay. Well, just like that. Oh, okay. Just, okay, beautiful. Ready? You should see it from this angle. That is... Oh. Oh. That is sensational. The breath isn't. That is so moist, so delicious, tender, tasty, and it's just dripping. Okay, come that on. Marinade I've got cauliflower. Goodness come on. There's a cauliflower salad to You've make. You've got what to make? Cauliflower salad. Mm. Okay, that's it. Come on.